En el nombre de Allah, el benéfico, el misericordioso. In the name of Allah, the beneficent, the merciful. I bear witness that there is no God but Allah. And I bear witness that Muhammad is his messenger. I want to greet our sisters and our brothers here in Chicago at Mas Mariam, or wherever you may be watching us across the country, across the planet this morning, in the greeting words of peace, which we say it in Arabic. Assalamu alaikum. I wanted to share something with you this morning as I'm anxious to hear student minister Nuri Muhammad as well. On a cold, dreary day in Chicago, knowing that there's a light in the building, it's a good feeling. So even though it's gray and it tends to be that we as original people, we like light. That sun, yeah, the tropics, that, that feeling of warmth. And in Chicago, it tends to be a cold city. So we're happy to have our brother from Indianapolis here. And I want to just say something before he comes to the rostrum in just a few minutes, because there was a passing this week on what we call Martin Luther King Day of a great Indo-Hispano-Mexican-Chicano warrior and servant of God named Reyes Lopez Tijerina. You may not know that name, but you should know that name. Because as a Mexican man, he's tied to the struggle of black people in America. Most Mexicans, unfortunately, don't know who the man is. He was a great friend of the Honorable Elijah Muhammad and the Honorable Minister Louis Farrakhan. I want you to just a few moments learn who this man is because if you Google him or go online, you're going to see all kind of controversial statements made about this man who's a friend of black people. This man who's a champion for freedom, justice, and equality of his own people and all people in general. This man who passed away on the 19th of this month, I want you to know something about him. You'll be able to read certain things that he was responsible in the 50s and 60s and 70s for going into Mexico, into Texas, into New Mexico, and studying the land grants that were given to the people of that area who were the original inhabitants when they went to war with America. And America won that war, but gave them permission to keep the land that had been theirs for generations. Well, by the 1950s, that land had all been stolen from the original people. Over a million acres of land taken from the original inhabitants who are mostly indigenous black people. Mixed Indo-Hispanic people, which means that they have native indigenous blood, plus they also have black blood and the blood of the Spaniards who came and conquered them. All of them had their land taken by the Anglo-European British conquerors. Here's a man who was born out of a natural law and need in his people for justice. A man who got up in the 50s and 60s and in 1967 decided to go arrest the district attorney. I want you to think about this. A man who decided with a small group of his followers and people who wanted justice for his people to go arrest the district attorney. They got into a shootout with the man, with, well, of course, they, they didn't want to go. When they went to the courthouse, they came to serve the papers. They were arrested in a shootout. He was on the run for several years and finally was arrested, and he did a, some time in jail on some bogus charge that they finally gave him. And when he got out of prison, the Honorable Elijah Muhammad wanted to meet with him. I want you to hear this because you don't know the reach of what real black history is. You and I have been deprived of knowing our connection to one another. He said he was nervous to go see the Honorable Elijah Muhammad. You won't find this written. I got it from the man face to face. He told me this. He said he was nervous to go meet the Honorable Elijah Muhammad because, of course, they'd shot up a courthouse. A Mexican man sitting in the home of the Honorable Elijah Muhammad, waiting for him, nervous. And he said he didn't know what the Honorable Elijah Muhammad would do. And you know what the Honorable Elijah Muhammad did when he saw him? According to Brother Reyes, he bound into the room like this and hugged him tight and said, good job, good job. We don't know all praises due to Allah. I asked Brother Reyes why he did that in the courthouse. He said because the Anglo-European, we would say white man, 
because their educational system has deprived our people, the Mexican and indigenous people, of our history and connection to one another. And because of that lack of history, we're afraid of the Anglo-European, and he wanted to do something to let them know that they don't have to be afraid of this enemy. And he told me, he goes, that's why I love the Honorable Elijah Muhammad and the Honorable Minister Louis Farrakhan. He said, these two beautiful and great servants of God are not afraid to tell the people of God who the real enemy is, the Anglo-European white man. Now here's a Mexican talking like that. Is it by accident that Mexicans don't know who it is? Or is it by accident that black people don't know who he is? No, this has been deprived of us and we've been kept in the dark of our history and connection to one another. And what we need today is light. We need light to be shined in darkness so that we can see ourselves as we are and then see one another for who we truly are, which is our brothers and sisters to one another. So I wanted to just share that with you because I don't want you to have the wrong idea of who this great man is. Reyes Lopez Tijerina dying on the 19th will be buried on the 2nd of, Ferry, of February, which is the anniversary of the Treaty of Guadalupe Hidalgo in Mexico, which is the very grand, that grand movement that he went and researched. So it's fitting and a stamp on his life that on the day that he was committed to be in turn and put back into the earth is like him coming back into the people all the work he did all the labor he did he's a shining example not only of his love for us but the love of the honorable elijah muhammad and the honorable minister louis farrakhan for us the honorable elijah muhammad called him a prince of his people He's a prince of his people, and he was commissioned to go tell the Mexican people about the nation of Islam and black people and our connection to one another. Why have we been deprived of the knowledge of who we are to one another? Because an enemy has benefited from our separation from one another. And what we're going to hear today is why black lives matter, not only to black people in America, but why black lives matter to human beings, because we all come from the original Asiatic black man. We're family to one another. And I'm anxious to hear student minister Nuri Muhammad speak on this subject today. Because what we need to know is not only where we came from, that's good, but more importantly, where are we to go after we've received light upon light and gotten this knowledge to awaken us? Are you ready for that kind of awakening message today? Aren't we tired of sitting around wondering who's going to help us? Where's our help coming from? You don't have to look any further. The Honorable Elijah Muhammad and the Honorable Minister Louis Farrakhan are present with a light that will guide you and I if you and I will listen. That's the kind of message we're going to hear this morning from Student Minister Nuri Muhammad. Are you ready for that kind of message? I am too to take us further into the program. Without any further delay, please welcome back to the rostrum for the Student Minister Jason Kareem. Assalamu alaikum. All praises.